Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, how do you solve physics problems? You're going to be confronted with like a lot of physics problems over the course of this year. Let's talk about a template about doing this. Here's some ideas. Number one, <laughs> read the problem. Carefully read the problem. Now, one thing cool about physics is they actually mirror the world. So here's what you do number two. You sketch something out, right? You know, you got a ball and it's being thrown and there's an angle, theta, and what that angle is, and it's going at 23 meters per sec, something like that. You're gonna draw out, pull out all the numbers. After you read, make a sketch. This one's an interesting one, visualize. So if it's like a ball throwing at a particular angle at 40 degrees, at 23 meters per second, envision what's happening. Put yourself at the football field where the ball is being thrown, something like that. Fourth, make a plan. How am I going to do this? Once you've done this, uh, figure out your plan. And then there's going to almost always be some sort of an equation. There's lots of equations in physics. You know, velocity is distance over time. Acceleration is velocity over time. We're going to have all these equations that you're going to get to know. Solve them dimensionally. But figure out what equation applies when you are doing the problem. Six. Crunch some numbers, if it's a mathematical one, and a lot of them will, C-R-U-N-C-H, crunch, crunkuch. I blew that one, didn't I? So, crunch the numbers, and then if all possible, check your work. Make sure it makes sense. It's also another thing, it's, it's sort of a sense monitor. It's like, well, that number I came up with, you know, 1,857,000 ,000 kilograms or something, you might think, that number doesn't make no sense. So do a little uh, sort of spot check. We're going to be solving a lot of problems in physics, Houston. We ain't got no problem. See you in class.